a thousand reasons why you're in a fake company. Kick it. Guys, I hate to break it down like this, but in about 20 seconds, I'm going to show you a video that's going to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that if you're not with Accelerate Fuel Tabs, your company's about to get shut down if it ain't shut down already. I even had people talk about, man, I used to sell those things in 2008. No, you didn't. You sold an imposter in 2008, and that company's gone for a reason. Roll that tape. Um, I want to introduce you guys to uh, a friend of mine now. I consider him a friend. We've had a lot of conversations on the phone. We've had lots of uh, uh, funny texts back and forth and, and uh, some, some good conversations uh, over the course of the week since uh, April 23rd, actually, I think was one of the first times that we ever spoke. <clears throat> so when I went out doing a little bit of research, I came across the patent. I uh, called uh, Rensley left a message or sent an email. I'm not sure exactly how it went. And about an hour later, I get a call back from Tommy. Uh, and the rest is uh, history. So I want to introduce you guys to the president of Rensley, um, Tom, Tommy Parrish. And Tommy, welcome. Thanks for call, uh, coming in. I appreciate you being on the Zoom here. It means a lot to everyone on the call. I know that. Um, I just hope you can just introduce yourself. Just tell us a little bit about the background of Rensley. Talk, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your father, because uh, uh, Dr. Parrish is, is your father who created the company. Um, and just tell us a little bit about the pedigree. Yeah. Th thanks, Dan. And uh, to everybody, thank you for being on this call. And this is super exciting with everything that's happening. And the timing of everything, like Dan was saying, is just impeccable. It's crazy how the universe aligns and comes together in a time where I really believe, and I believe Dan does too, that we can add so much value to everybody that's going to be involved in this. And not only for us, but also the people that, you know, that, that you're going to be working with. It's, it's potentially life-changing for what this opportunity is. So thank you everybody for believing in this. And I'll, I'll give you a little bit of history. So my, my father, he is now 81 years old. Uh, he graduated from and got his PhD in organic chemistry back in 1970, started his own chemical company and did uh, specific contract manufacturing for a lot of different industries. Um, our technology came from a project where he was working with ATK Thiokol. Uh, they're the ones that make the uh, booster rockets for the shuttle program. At the time, it was the Hercules program and the, for NASA and was developing burn rate modifiers for them and working with them and then was contracted to actually manufacture the solid rocket fuel in the eighties and through the nineties for their, for their program, which is here in Utah. And when he was developing the manufacturing process and also the, the burn rate modifiers that he was working on for them saw applications for fuels. And this is back in the eighties when fuel was so cheap and started developing our first iterations of product in 1986. So we've been in this market specifically surrounding combustion modification and burn rate modification for almost uh, 30, what was that, 36 years going on now. And um, I would say we're probably the pioneers in the market with regard to it. A lot of people haven't heard about us because we've just focused on our manufacturing. You know, we white labeled the product in the past. But over these years that we've been working on this, um, you know, we've advanced our understanding and also the technology. And right now we're the only ones in the world with regard to the solid formulation patents. And we have patents in the US, the European Union, uh, Canada, and Australia. So all of the big powerful markets where there's a lot of business, we know in other third, third world countries, there's a lot of business potential too. But these are the core for all the manufacturing and those types of things. So our patents are still in force. We've had people challenge them and uh, unsuccessfully uh, tried to um, invalidate our patents uh, because it is such a powerful patent, uh, which emboldens us even more to have and be a place in the market and align ourselves with the right people to get it out there. Uh, there's a lot of, as I'm sure you guys know, there's a lot of uh, dishonest people and crooks, especially when it comes into the market of additives, but also in the you know, the MLM industry, there's a lot of people that are cheating, but you are aligned with someone who I believe is a really good person 
uh, motivated by the right things to share with what this potential opportunity is with everyone that's involved. So I commend Dan for that because I've, I've been averse to working with uh, MLMs in the past because of things that have happened. Um, but through the years, you know, I, I had no idea that I, this would be such a big part of my life. Well, everything with regard to my earning potential and my business. Uh, when I was a teenager, I worked for my dad and was actually on production. I was in, you know, involved in the manufacturing process of the solid rocket fuel, which I thought was really cool, but I hated chemistry growing up. I hated it. And so now it's like a big part of my life and I've learned the applicable stuff, which, which is very relevant to everything that's happening in the world right now. Um, and I went in uh, into the, you know, got my college degree in business management, uh, worked in commercial development and uh, construction for a while. And then when the whole market crashed in 2008, got involved back with this company, my dad wanted me to get involved and put some money into it. And so that was in 2008. And so I worked with, it was all a family business and we've been going, kind of going through the fun aspects of that being a family business. Um, but basically in 2015, bought the company out from all the family and have been kind of changing the direction that we do the business cut off the ones that are uh, the cheaters out there, uh, the ones that we supplied, you know, the highest quality products to and that they were doing under their own brands and lying to everybody in the market about what it was. And so what, what Dan is doing is also uh, very uh, progressive when it comes into forming a company and creating these relationships. And my, my loyalty and dedication is support people that are that way. So everyone that's going to be involved with this knows that I'm I'm going to be supporting everything that we're doing together. And um, we really do have the best product in the world. And we're advancing our technology even to date. My dad's helping us take the next steps into our next generation products. And you guys will have access to those. We've been talking to Dan about that. And so we're super excited about what we, what we have to do here together. So. Awesome. Yeah, it's so exciting. And the funny and the, the great part of the, the relationship that we have is, you know, not just a manufacturer vendor relationship, because throughout this whole course, right from idea to, hey, Tommy, what do you think about this packaging to, hey, what do you think about this graphic? And, you know, that that's the kind of the back and forth that we've had since the very beginning of uh, even thinking about this. Um, and you've enlightened me and you've enlightened and I've been able to enlighten others in what you've taught me about the industry, because coming from a network marketing, uh, when we first talked, you were said, you know, as you said, you were versed in network marketing and you, you, you put it a little bit more bluntly when we first talked about <laughs> when we first talked about it. But, you know, th this is you know, where, where my, my background is nutritionals. <clears throat> so in the nutritional industry, you know, it's, it's a little bit different uh, than the, the, the fuel additives industry. So you opened our, my eyes, which I'm able to, to educate other people about fuel additives. And it's this whole little industry and it's a whole little niche in the world that, um, you know, it's a multi-billion, billion dollar company, out, uh, you know, uh, opportunity out there in the fuel additives industry. So, you know, I appreciate you. I appreciate you for all of that uh, education as we, I know it kind of made frustrating for you. Uh, yeah. Me talking about what the heck is one, two, four, five tetramethyl benzene and <laughs> right, all, right. These, you know, all these terms as we went along. But I, I appreciate your your uh, your helping us out here. I want to ask you a couple questions that I know you know Malcolm and Val are are sweaty palms right now thinking about what I'm going to ask you about the competition and everything. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go negative. I don't I don't want to say any names or anything. But you know there are other companies out there. You know we're EPA registered. Uh, we are under the Rensley umbrella. Um, and we also have our own EPA registration um, going in the works as well. Um, yeah. And so, you know, our when our EP, our EPA register says accelerate fuel taps because that's and you, and you can and, you know you can uh, expand on this. Um, that's what has to happen when you have EP regis EPA registration. So an EPA registration, a product out there, no matter if it's a solid or or liquid or a, a powder, can't point to another product's. EPA registration and say, this is our registration from 2009, Ken. That's, the, that's exactly right. So the way that the EPA looks at it, well, first, they have two different designations for EPA registrations. Almost 99% of the additives that are out there are registered under what they call baseline additives. And that's all of your lubricity improvers, your cetane improvers, octane improvers, 
uh, cold flow improvers, all these things which change the aspect or properties of the fuel for handability and functionality. That, th those are what they qualify under baseline. Ours falls under what they call atypical. So it, it's basically carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, and an atypical element, which is that catalytic function. So two separate markets. We're, we're regulated different than what they are. We had to go through what they call a tier one safety and health effects study, which is none of the other additives have gone through it. They were grandfathered in by an API submission, and they haven't had to go through it. There's people out there that are claiming that they got their registrations in 2009 and they went through the EPA registration. This happened a long time before. And our, our ability to be able to register product, not only for, for the stuff that we make, but also being grandfathered in for bulk treatments on certain types of fuel, that's based on our history with the EPA. And we have a very good relationship with them. Um, they know me personally. You know, I've even met some of them in D.C., and so we meet the highest standard for regulations in the market. Our product has been deemed to be safe for all over the road use applications, which is a higher standard than off road. And um, that, that registration has to be specifically tied to the, the trade name, which is going into the market. It doesn't matter if someone else registered anything else. If you're selling it into the market, your registration is trade name, and formulation, if it's your formulation or someone else's, it has to be registered on composition and going out into the marketplace. And then the manufacturers, which is us, has to file annual reports every year for all of the products that we're selling into the marketplace, where we're selling them, and those types of things. So it's not just a, uh, if anyone has a EPA registration and you buy their product and then just put your own name on it, it's no longer registered with the EPA. It doesn't work that way. And, 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 Composition is key to that. So a liquid formulation cannot be the same composition as a solid formulation. And the tablets are not made from a liquid formulation, so it's the same. That's not the way it works. So our, you know, we maybe looking hindsight, you know, 2020, looking back on what we helped people do, and they're leveraging what we helped them do back in 2008 and beyond to have EPA registrations that were specifically tied to our product that we were manufacturing and putting out into the market. And so, so what you're talking about, yeah, you're, you're talking yeah, about the, so there's some companies out there that are uh, claiming EPA registration from 2009 from a different product. Uh, but the reality is you actually supplied that product to the people that are claiming to have the EPA registration. That was your formula in the first place. And, 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 and even the registrations, Right. That was right. all done based on my company registering it under what they call private label registration. But the EPA sees everything that's registered and it ties back to me being the manufacturer. So anybody selling a product under that registration with a different composition or a different trade name, they, they could be in pretty big trouble. You know? And they're aware of a lot of things. So I've been sending stuff to uh, you know, enforcement as well as other, other companies to put them in check. It'll happen. Uh, yeah. It's a slow process, but they're very aware of the parties that are out there doing things that aren't, you know, by the regulations. Sure. And, and just one more, one more question as far as that goes or in that same category. Now, some other companies claiming 20 years of, of uh, you know, in, in the tab industry, 20 years of, of results and, and a Nobel Prize chemistry and, and all this crap that's just absolutely just fabricated nonsense. Um, you know, what, what do you say when people are saying our tab is, is uh, you know, Nobel Prize chemistry and our tab has 20 years of research and our prize and our blah, 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 you know, all, all of this, if, all of this background. If their tab won the Nobel Prize for chemistry back in 1963, then their tab would have been around since 1963. Now, like, like just one component of that has nothing to do, like we don't piggyback off of other people's uh, discoveries of an element that was done back in the 60s or the 70s. All of our technology, all of our like testing reports, all of the years of like documentation are based on our technology. And these other people that have been out there that we sold to in the past, um, they're basing their results in their company off of performance that my product provided to them. And now they're selling other products that are not the same composition or anything. 
and trying to piggyback on the results that our company has been demonstrating over the past three decades. So anybody that's talking about NASA and uh, burn rate modifiers or those things, they're all trying to get some credibility based on our history, our story, and our technology. Yeah, absolutely. And, and one of the things, you know, how I even found you in the first place was, you know, I was actually looking at the reason, how can I develop a, a tab that make it unique and make it, you know, have you know, efficacious product that, you know, people can see results um, and, you know, Ferris pick rate and, and ingredients like this that you and I talked about, um, you know, yeah. just do a rack in my brain of how to, you know, take advantage of the situation that I was in with the, another company. And, um, you know, you're like, you know, you're filling me in on this whole new, <laughs> this whole new world. So pretty, pretty yeah. exciting. Um, yeah, I, I appreciate it, Tommy. Um, I'm, I'm just trying to think of anything else that, um, that I wanted to ask you here. Uh, the the one thing I did want to talk about is what our particular product that we have with a with a sexy X on it, the nice the, the, the nice shiny uh, okay. uh, gloss to it. You know, absolutely love it, and you know, people are in love with it. And I, I haven't showed you yet, but testimonials are flowing in, pictures and and hashtags all over the place with um with uh, that product on there. But um, so our particular product uh, is exclusive to us, right? So we have we have we have um. You know, people going around spreading rumors about the, the patents, like you mentioned before, the patents not yeah. is not valid. You know, he lost. Which, which you can look up. You you can yeah, look yeah. it up. You can look on the U.S. Patent Trademark Office. Our patents are still there, yeah. valid. You know everything. But so everyone's just, grasping at straws because they don't yeah, have absolutely. the best. Um, and you know they they'd like to to help. Um, I guess step on other people or use other people, leverage other people's success for to help them boost their own. Um, so can you talk just a little bit about our particular product, our relationship, um, and uh, you know where, where you see us going in the future? Um, I mean, we've talked about what we want to do, and obviously the proof is in, you know, the performance of it. And um, But that, that sexy X on yours identifies your product uniquely. So um, and, and we've talked about um, enhancing that even further to give you, you know, a product which is unique. Um, but everything that you're offering is going to be unique to Accelerate. Um, and that helps us identify. So, so that, that Sexy X is in the process of being trademarked also. And all of the tablets that you see on the market that are marked, you'll know, you know, basically embossed, you'll know that it's ours. And so all these other ones that are out there trying to put a cross on them that, that doesn't look so great and <laughs> all these other things are basically attempts at a copy. And even that, it's uh, attempts and where they got the information was directly correlated to our patent research and, and our preliminary patents or provisional patents and all those types of things. So it's, there's certain reasons why we're not using certain products and there's reasons that we zeroed in on what we have and it really is an amazing product um, that is a game changer in every way for what's happening on the global economy and fuel, everything right now. So when, when you get that product or if you see the product out there and it has a sexy X, you know that's coming from us. Anyone that tried to knock that off is going to be in big trouble. And we, yeah. we are actively enforcing our, you know, our patents in the market. We, we test everything that's out there. It's a pretty small world when it comes into the solid formulations and tablets, but we've been doing this longer than anybody. No one, no one that's claiming to have 20 years has 20 years doing this. We're the ones that have the 30 years plus in the market, not in tablets, but in our technology. And so you can rest assured that uh, like my father still is helping us develop stuff and that, that everything that's going to be coming through Accelerate is going to be the, the highest quality and best performing product in the marketplace. Awesome. Well, I appreciate that. I know I said we're going to be about a half hour, about 31 minutes. So I know I talked yeah. a little bit longer. Thanks, Tommy. I really appreciate yeah, yeah, yeah. it. It means a lot to us. Have your support and have you on here. And uh, we look forward to the future. And I know everyone's excited to um, see what else uh, the Parrish family has in store for yeah. us as far as products. I mean, so, you want thank me you to so talk much. about what's coming or you want to wait for that? Yeah, let's wait for that. Let's let's hold okay. that up. I want that a July right. surprise, July yeah. Christmas. <laughs> yeah, right. Awesome. <laughs> but, All right, everyone. Well, uh, I appreciate. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead. I was just yeah. gonna say th thank you for having me on, and I look forward to more of these and helping this. You know, this is we're we're close to almost three hundred people on this. That's awesome. So congratulations, awesome. To everybody. 
that have found you and are, are participating at this level, it's, it's only going to be, you know, going up from here. So I'm excited. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thanks everyone for joining us again. We're going to have another call presentation on Thursday and uh, you can invite your guests and look over the entire uh, from soup to nuts on the compensation plan on accelerating the product uh, on the patent on Tommy's uh, Tommy's patent and um, everything in between. So really excited. Thanks for everyone. Uh, congratulations, everyone. 600 plus commissions going out here this month. Um, I've never been involved with a company that has done that. Um, 600, a lot of people making a lot of money, yes, but not 600 average people uh, making important life-changing income. And that's what this company, um, and I know uh, Tommy shares the same philosophy with me, uh, what the meaningful money. And so congratulations, everyone. Thanks for your hard work. And we'll talk to everyone on Thursday. Thanks, Tommy. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you. Thank you. You had the right intentions. I get it. You want to help people, especially now with fuel prices being the way they are. And it's a perfect opportunity to really make a lot of money in the fuel additive business. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. But as you can see, we're the originators. We're the emancipators. We're the architects. All right. And we're just getting started, guys. So don't wait because every day you wait, two, three hundred people join our company. And it hasn't even launched yet. It's in pre-launch. Click on the link below. Learn all you need to know. Because you didn't even find out about the comp plan or anything in that, in that video. Click the link below. Don't buy another gallon of gas until you see this. <laughs> and with that, I'm out of here. And as always in parting, peace and accelerate.